Today, I want to talk to you about Pokemon. More specifically, my history with Pokemon. If you're new to this channel, you probably don't know this about me. But I love Pokemon. It's my absolute favorite thing in the entire world, besides musical theater. And with Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon coming out in two days, I figured this was the perfect time to share something I love with you guys. So here's where it all began. My cousin introduced me to Pokemon when I was about five or six years old. I knew the anime before I knew the game, so I grew up watching the adventures of Ash, Misty, Brock, and Pikachu before I knew that I could set out on my own Pokemon journey. Then Christmas came. Late 90s. Santa gave me the tools I needed to set out on my very own Pokemon journey. A green Game Boy Color and a copy of Pokemon Yellow. And thus began my journey. Shortly after getting yellow and not knowing how to pronounce the words item or parcel or bind, I got Pokemon Red. And then shortly after that, I got Pokemon Blue. Now, back then, I was also like, you know, six or seven years old, so I had no idea how to beat Brock or get past Mount Moon. And even if I did get past Mount Moon, I'd still get stuck in the fourth gym. And it was for dumb reasons too, like, you know, accidentally releasing my own Pokemon or not having enough space in my item bag. So when I got stuck, I would move on to other games like Pokemon Pinball or the Pokemon Trading Card Game. But eventually I came back to Red, Blue, and Yellow and I figured out how to beat them. And from then on in, it just became second nature to me. Everything in my life was Pokemon. Toys, food, bath products. I had Pokemon bed sheets for crying out loud. In fact, today I still have this Pikachu blanket that I regularly use. I remember as a kid, I would go outside and I'd hide a bunch of Pokemon figures all around my backyard and I'd go out pretending I was going out on a journey and catching all the Pokemon I had hidden. I'd collect the cards and I'd play the card game with my cousin. Then, Gold and Silver came out and everything changed. A whole new world of Pokemon just appeared before me and I was thrilled to embark on my Johto adventure. Like, seriously, the years of my childhood are just a series of Pokemon-related blurs. Gold and Silver, Crystal, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, Leaf Green, it all happened so fast for me. Mostly because as I grew up, the kids around me started to grow up as well. Suddenly, liking Pokemon at my age was no longer cool. Even though I was about 11 years old, so I got made fun of for liking a baby game, and I started to play the games in secret. I also started trying to branch out into other gaming franchises. And then the Nintendo DS came out. I was beyond thrilled when they announced Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. And Platinum. But I was even more excited when Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver dropped. Gold and Silver were and still are my absolute favorite Pokemon games, so when they announced the remakes, it was like a huge nostalgia overload. The Pokewalker encouraged me to go out and actually walk with my Pokemon. And I did. Every day. Just knowing that I had a Pokemon actually with me on my belt was such a nice sentiment. I was so in love with the Gen 2 remakes that I barely noticed black and white coming out. But of course, when they did come out, I still did my usual routine, which was pre-order the game and then pick it up first thing in the morning on the release day. And I did the same thing with Black 2 and White 2 when they came out two years later. Around the time Black and White came out, I went to Disney World for a choir trip. While visiting Japan at Epcot, I came across this huge anime store. They had an entire section devoted solely to Pokemon and I geeked out. This was also when I got my plush Pikachu, Prime. I started wondering what direction Pokemon was going in, you know, what with the 3DS coming out and all. And then the announcement for Pokemon X and Pokemon Y came out and the whole world sang with me. Mega Evolution was such a cool mechanic that they introduced in the sixth generation and I fell in love with the franchise all over again. This was also around the time when I was starting university, so this was the first time I didn't get a Pokemon game as soon as it came out. I actually had to wait and get it a few days after, which was absolute torture. But eventually, I got it, played it, and loved it all the same. This was also when I started getting into competitive battling, so I learned all there was to know about EVs, IVs, breeding, and the metagame. I entered into and won a few local VGC tournaments, but nothing too big. When the announcement for Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out, I was so excited to play another remake. However, this was around the time when the new Super Smash Bros. came out for 3DS, and I ended up buying it instead of waiting to buy Oras. So I knew I'd have to wait to get the game again. That is, until my friend and now roommate Dylan surprised me and bought me the game as a late birthday gift. When going to get the game, it was the first time I had ever been to a midnight release for a Pokemon game, and it actually turned out to be a super fun experience. About a year later, I invested in a special 3DS with a capture card installed in it. I recorded several battles, but only found the time to upload one of them. 
and then there was Pokemon Go. I can't tell you how happy I was when Go first launched. Suddenly, I was able to live out my childhood dream, going out into the wild and catching Pokemon through the use of my phone. But I think the best part about Go was how it affected the world. Everywhere you'd go, you'd see people all doing the same thing, going out and catching Pokemon and living out their childhood. It was like a Pokemon renaissance. And now on to the most recent games in the Pokemon franchise, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Oh my god, I love this game. Pokemon Sun and Moon ended up being some of the best Pokemon games I'd played in a while. The story was amazing, the designs, the features, everything was beautiful. I felt like I was playing a whole new game altogether. Such a nice breath of fresh air. Which brings us to today. It's been about a year since Pokemon Sun and Moon launched, and we're about to get two new additions to the Pokemon franchise. And I can't wait. Friday can't come soon enough because every time I start a new game, I remember what it was like to start my Pokemon journey back when I was a kid. I remember the joy I felt when I was playing with my friends. I remember how wonderful it is that this franchise is able to bring together so many different people. And I'm so happy to be a part of this community. I owe so much to the Pokemon Company for being able to keep my childhood alive and letting me embark on new journeys over and over again. So to the Pokemon Company, I thank you. And to all you fellow trainers out there watching this video, never stop on your Pokemon journeys, because I know for certain that I won't. Train on.